When one of the largest film studios in the world takes a long lunch hour, suspending work on high-budget motion pictures and tightly scheduled television series, it's bound to be a very special event. A recent example of such an occasion was a luncheon given by 20th Century Fox for His Royal Highness Prince Philip when he came to Hollywood in the course of a charity tour. Dozens of dazzling stars in the film firmament mingled with scores of studio executives and local political figures to honor the prince, observed by the cameras of hundreds of members of the international press. It was a bright spring day, and tables had been set up in the sunshine on a replica of a western street. At the head table, Prince Philip was flanked by Glynis Johns and Rosalind Russell, and what is sometimes referred to in the neighborhood as a bevy of lovelies. Van Heflin presented a custom-engraved Winchester rifle as a memento of the day, while such luminaries as Jack Benny, Danny Kay, Bob Hope, Natalie Wood, James Garner, Mia Farrow, Groucho Marx, Anne Francis, and Edward G. Robinson stared at the prince and at each other. Eventually, telescopes' cameras found the man behind the mask of Batman, Adam West. And nearby, his camp counselor, executive producer William Dozier. It wasn't long before the super bat chief set a good example and led the way back to the daily chores. Time to turn away from the ceremony of a royal visit, take up the cap and bells, and get back to the workaday life of the jolly jesters in the bat court. <laughs>